I get back from work yesterday and I'm all like, man, I can't wait to play me some Division. I'm going to work on some videos. It's going to be a big night. I'm super pumped. I sit down on my computer. I look at my inbox for my email, which is what I always do. The first thing I sit down, I see an email from Tom Clancy's The Division. And it's titled important information regarding your account. And I'm like, huh, okay, that looks interesting. Click on the link, boom. Turns out I have been permanently banned. Log in, check it out. And it was absolutely true, I was banned. So that was obviously uh, a really interesting thing to happen to me, given the fact that, um, yeah, I don't exactly uh, think it would be within my best interests to hack the game. I'm pretty sure I would get found out trying to do that pretty fast. And also, I don't even PvP in this game, so why the hell would I use a hack? Uh, it was quite ridiculous. But anyway, it turns out what happened was the most recent ban wave that went out was quite buggy indeed. And quite a few people got caught up in it with these false positive results. Uh, all over Reddit, there are all these posts talking about the fact that people got banned. Massive came out soon after that to say, sorry guys, there was an issue and we fixed it now. So everyone should be unbanned. If you are banned, however, if you have any residual issues with your account, do contact Ubisoft support and they will fix them straight up for you. Anyway, I thought you would enjoy that story because I certainly did not in the moment that it was happening. Something very exciting that is happening this weekend is a free weekend of The Division on PC. It's not on PS4 or Xbox, sadly, but those of you that have a PC that can run The Division are gonna be able to download the game client and play it for free this weekend, absolutely no strings attached whatsoever. It's the very first time that Massive have offered The Division as a free trial anywhere, so to see it work like this is pretty rad indeed. The exact dates are the 15th of December at 1800 at 6 p.m. UTC until the 18th of December 2100 UTC which is 9 p.m. So you've essentially got around three days of solid play with The Division if you've never touched it before. Uh, this is a great chance to sort of get some of your mates on board. People that have been really reluctant to play The Division in the past because they heard terrible things about it a lot of those things were true in the past, but a lot of those things aren't true anymore. And uh, anyone that's sort of sitting on the fence, if you've got a friend that's like, ah, maybe I'll buy it if it gets discount or whatever else, tell them to download the trial, check it out totally free. Um, and the game's also on sale for around 25 US dollars this weekend as well, which is about 50% normal price. So if you check your local areas, if you're in Europe or Asia or whatever, you're probably gonna find it's 50% off there as well. So 25 bucks for this game is great. Now, now, you don't get access to the survival gamer, you don't get access to any of the DLC, in fact, you just get the base game. But if you really like it, 25 bucks plus $15 for the survival expansion, it's pretty good value now. It's a solid game and you could do a lot worse than spending $40 on such a complete package at this point. And the really, really awesome part about this is that you can actually preload it right now so that you can play it straight away when it's available in a few hours time. Just go to Uplay, follow the instructions there and you will see the preload option. Just click on that and you're away. That's it. The division will be yours for the weekend and hopefully you stick around after that. Something else very exciting for PC players as well as the arrival of DX12 or DirectX12. It's basically an API that makes our games run a little bit better under most circumstances. It's already been enabled on the PC client. You can actually just go to your options right now and enable it. And then you can actually run this benchmark tool straight after it. The footage that you're seeing here is that benchmark. It runs for about a minute, minute and a half. And after that, it will report your average FPS and you get an idea of how much you can push your system. The Division is a fairly demanding game and a lot of you are probably running at sort of lower settings than you might like. You might find that this direct exchange after you enable it allows you to push out some of the higher settings and maintain some decent frame rates. So play around with that and see if you get a performance boost out of it. A lot of people are reporting around 15, 20% increase. Some people do say it's a decrease in performance for them, but that could be a compatibility thing. Overall though, DX12 should be good for you rather than bad. So check it out and hopefully it will improve the performance of your game. Oh, and one last
last thing, you actually do need to have Windows 10 in order to uh, sort of enable this feature. DirectX 12 is exclusive to Windows 10. So if you're not running that, you're not gonna have it. If you do have Windows 10, it's all yours. The very last thing I wanted to share with you guys, especially while we're talking about a free weekend and getting some of our mates involved, is that the division is actually growing really well at the moment. Someone uh, linked me the latest Steam charts, which I hadn't checked in a while. And I was really stunned to see how well the game is doing at the moment. Uh, as you can see here, this graph here, or this, this table, I should say, September 2016 is 3,000 peak players that month. That was the month we were all waiting for patch 1.4 to arrive. October saw the release of patch 1.4, and obviously people liked what they saw. There was a gain of 60% in, in, in terms of average players. It went up to sort of uh, 3,000 average players, up from 1,000. Uh, but then, yeah, obviously things really shot up after that in November when 1.5 and Survival was released, where uh, we sort of doubled that to 6,000 average players. Peak players are 24,000. And the last 30 days, average players is actually at 9,000 and uh, peak players steady at uh, 24,000. So obviously this is just Steam numbers. It doesn't include um, Xbox, which obviously would have got a huge boost as well. PlayStation 4 predictably is going to get less of a boost because the survival game mode is not available until next week. But either way, it's a really good sign of the growth of this game. You can kind of extrapolate this data and sort of superimpose it on PlayStation 4 and Xbox when, you know, survival is out on PS4. And it gives you an indication of the fact that this community is getting bigger and that people are sticking around. It's not like people just, you know, stuck around for 1.4 and then left or just stuck around for the launch of survival and then left. You know, average players is a really good metric to be using and it's showing that people are sticking around. They're playing the game and that's great news and it's really well deserved. The step that Massive have taken have been really fantastic. The game is by no means perfect yet, but it's certainly a solid effort right now. And I just can't wait to see what we're going to expect next year with the uh, Last Stand DLC and hopefully some year two DLC as well. There's been plenty of rumors swirling around that. I've done two videos on that that I'll link in the description below. Hopefully it's good times ahead for year two in the division. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like. State of the game is in a few hours from now. I'm going to wake up early tomorrow morning and do my little edit of that as I like to do. For now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take good care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.